Hey everyone, good morning, it's Marissa, and I'm here. Um, I wanted to share with you a few things. Um, I went to downtown LA with Vicky and met up with Van, and um, also stopped by a garage sale that was in my neighborhood that I happened to see on my way out. Um, so I want to share with you guys what I purchased. Okay, so, um, there's this lady, one of my, she lives in my neighborhood, and about like once a month she has a yard sale. And every time she has a yard sale, she puts out different things from her house or her relative's house. So, um, she usually has milk glass, and she usually says that, um, she brings out things every time. But this time she had milk glass, but I didn't want that. However, I did see something else and I wanted to show you guys. So she said that this was her sister's and she paid $100 for it. The truth behind that, I am not sure how much she um, paid for it, but I scored on it. And I wanted to show you guys what I picked up. And it's a series, it's like a set. So the first one I'm going to show you, and I'm if you see the background, it's different. I'm coming from my kitchen because the ants decided to raid my craft room. This whole week they've been there and I haven't had time to do anything about it until last night so hopefully they don't come back so I can go in there and start cleaning but anyways I'm gonna show you I got this cupcake stand and it's a ceramic cupcake stand and I'm gonna um, move my camera so I can show you what it looks like on top so this one is pink and this says goodies and it is super cute you guys so and that's what the bottom looks like okay and then the next size up let me just move this back there the next size up is this one and this is like a very light green and that's what and this they both have cupcakes for the handle and that is super cute so there's the green one. So this one's taller, skinny. This one's a little bit wider and um, shorter. And then the next one is so cute. It is. Just move things around here. And the next size, this is a baby blue. And it looks like that. Isn't that so adorable? And like I said, this is ceramic, this is glass, this is also ceramic here. So I thought it was so cute and I'm so happy that I was able to find this. So that's that. And then I also found this um, mason jar, I think milk glass. I'm not sure, but it, it is not painted because I opened it up and I looked at it and it's not painted. So I picked that up. I thought that was cute. So that is what I got from my neighbor. So moving on to downtown LA, like I said, um, I went with Vicky and I was able to find some more beads, you guys. I don't know, Anna and um, Natalie got me on this kick to start making these bracelets and I'm having a ball and I'm loving it because as you guys know, I do love wearing dangly bracelets and I do it every day of the week. Um, so it's pretty cool that I don't have to buy them anymore. I can just make them to the color that I choose. So this bead store we found on the way out when Van had to use the restroom. And we just happened to go on in. So this is, it's called Brianna's Beads. And that's the phone number and the address. And um, they had some kind of special and these beads right here were three dollars and um so I just picked up this one because I thought that was really cute so that's that and then these beads are a dollar fifty and they're like a milky pink and I got two of two sizes two of each isn't that gorgeous it's like a milk it's like that white one but this is um, like a milky pink, and I love it. It was only $1.50, so I couldn't complain. So that is from, um, 
the Brianna's beads. And then, of course, I went to the bead factory. And the bead factory, they give you this bag when you check out. And um, here's the address if you would like to go. And I'm telling you, they it's from from floor to ceiling. There's nothing but beads and anything to make jewelry. So that's where we went, and I spent a little bit too much money, but that's okay. So I was able to get these different size rondelles, and I think the small rondelles were seventy five cents a dozen. So I got two dozens of the pink and the silver, or the gold and the silver and then I think um, these were like these are the next size up and these were like 85 cents or something a dozen so I got two dozens of those and then I found some of these these are flat back um, they're kind of like opal I don't know how to explain them but they're hearts thought that was super cute and I got that four dollar fifty you're gonna see the prices on them so you guys can get a feel of how much they cost picked up that random thing and then I saw these and I thought these were different so I wanted to just buy one pack and these are like some rose with leaves and then it has like glitter like a resin piece I'm guessing so I thought those were cool these were like um how much were these $2.50 for three and then I found some, um, well, some, <laughs> lots of charms. So I found this silver charm. And then I thought I found it in gold, but I guess I didn't pick it up. I found this heart charm. I found these um, cameos here. These are different. These are smaller and these are bigger and it's silver and gold. And sorry if I'm rushing because I'm trying to beat the clock. And then I found these really cute bowls in silver and gold. And these were, I think, $1.50, $1.75. So I picked those up. And then I found some of these pink. They're silver and like a very light pink. Um, I don't know what you call these. What do you call these? Bead caps? Bead space. Bead caps. I don't know if you could see the little pink on there. But these are like bead caps. And I got two of those. And then I got some spacers. I got these spacers in gold. And then I got them in silver. And then I got these little charm. These are like spacer charms. I, I don't know what they're called. I Like I said, I'm new to this jewelry making gig. And um, I guess you see a little hook. You can hang your charms on them. So you put them on your bracelet and then you're able to hang the charm from them. So I got these. Don't have any of these. So I thought that would be cool. And then I found some of these, um, I don't know. Do you call these hat pins or something? Hat pins, I don't know. Head pins, head pins, right? Maybe. So then I got it in silver and then got it in gold. And these were $4, or no, $2. And it says that they're 50 grams for $2. So I don't know if that's a good price or not, but I got them anyways. Good morning, babe. Good morning. It's morning here, and it is only 6.43, and my little one just woke up. So let's get to the beads. So the beads, they had some beads that look like Jesse James, or I don't know if they're Jesse James. So I want to show you guys. I love this one here. And as you can see, it's silver and it has these little hearts. They have different size beads of these, but this was the perfect size that I wanted. And this was the only color. I wanted a, a turquoise one, but they didn't have it in this size. So they have this in different sizes. So I got this bead and then I found this one. And these were like four, four seventy five. So I got that one, and then I found this gorgeous one. Look at how gorgeous this is, like a gold. Found that. 
I found this one was pretty. This was right next to it, and then I didn't even think to look at the price. And when I looked at the price, it was $10. I can't believe I put this in my basket without looking at the price. $10. Ugh, oh, I'm so mad at myself. And then I found these beads. This is a turquoise with some gold. And I got them in two sizes. And then I also got it with silver. And these were $2.25. And then I found some coordinating beads in different sizes, two different sizes, so that I can make a bracelet with that. And then I found some of these milky white beads that I wanted and these of course were the same price found these beads nothing special got some different sizes in the pink ones and then this I don't ever recall putting in my basket I think it was at the cashier and he ended up bringing this with my stuff but it's purple I could always use it for something and then we went to the Peacemakers. They had a craft fair type of swap meet thing. And Van found these. And I thought these were so pretty, these glass beads. Look at it, and they have flowers on it. So that's all I got. That is my bead and garage sale haul. I hope everybody has a great weekend. And I will be back with a small little project share. Talk to you guys later. Bye.